Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this short video we're going to take a look at how you add a pivot table timeline into your workbook. So in this example we've got our data source and we've created a pivot table out of it which looks at our clients by country and then the values in there. And say we want to insert a timeline in here. What we'll do is we'll click anywhere in our pivot table, we'll go to pivot table analyze, come over to this button that says insert timeline. And if you click on that, what it will do is it will give you any options of things that are formatted as a date. So we obviously have a date field, so it's not currently highlighted in the pivot table in our source data. You may have a data set which might have multiple date fields, in which case you'll have to check which one you want the timeline to be referencing. I'm going to tick that, I'm going to click OK, and you get this timeline in, which goes all the way from January through to December. What this allows you to do, it essentially allows you to filter your data. So say I just want to look at data in the second half of the year. You can filter that and it will just give us the data from July through to December. And we can make this a little bit bigger so that we can see the full thing. Let's just filter it so we can just see it to December. Also filter your timeline in different ways. So at the moment it's automatically set up for months. You can do it by quarters. So you can look at it by different quarters of the year. So in this instance, I've just got data in here from 2023. And you see, I'm now just looking at quarter two. You can also do it by years if you've got multiple years worth of data, or if you can break it down as far as days. To clear the filter on the timeline, you can just check this little box at the top and it will clear out your data. You can also change the style of how this looks. If you click on this timeline tab at the top, you've got all these different options. So you can select different color options. You can change the caption at the top. You can also choose whether or not you want the header, whether you want the selection label, whether you want to allow people to change the time level, and whether you want the scroll bar or not. So there's lots of different options in there. And you can also use the size to adjust the size of your box. If you've got multiple different either timelines or slices, you can obviously use your align buttons to align those nicely in your spreadsheet. You can also remove your timeline by right clicking and just clicking this remove timeline button. So this has just been a brief introduction to pivot table timelines. If there's anything particular you'd like to know about either timelines or pivot tables in general, please do leave me a comment below. Hope that you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you again in future.